Uh, negotiation battles came to an end today as Kohler union workers voted yes on a new labor contract. The company gave its final offer and workers made some concessions to stay on the job. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley has both sides. The results are in. The company's proposal was passed by the membership. If you think UAW local 833 leader Dave Burgundy seems disappointed about that, it's because he is. I'm a little stunned by it myself. I mean, stunned, David Billman says, because he thought union members would vote the Kohler Company proposal down. Instead, the union says 62% of those who voted were in favor, but they had to make some concessions to get the deal done. Wages for current employees will be frozen for five years. Their premiums for insurance will increase and incoming workers will get paid less. However, accepting the contract meant employees got a $1,000 signing bonus. Some workers say they felt their arm was twisted to accept the deal. People are scared. That's all I can say. With the economy being the way it is, and I think we really have no choice but to accept the contract. I'm just happy to have a job. We never had great contracts. We all have fair contracts. And this contract is far from fair. But Kohler spokesperson Todd Weber says it is a fair contract and one the company is happy with. You know, it does maintain the wage level for the next five years, but they're paid above the 90th percentile in this community. And so the contract um, recognized that. Weber says these terms were needed to keep the plumbing products company viable. It's a different world today, and we knew we needed to change. Our Sheboygan County manufacturing operations um, uh, needed to become more competitive, and this contract was to address that. And while some of those terms did stay in the contract, Weber says compromises were made has built in some incentives um, to, to provide them with, with bonuses. And in the last year of the contract, should their wage drop below the 80th percentile, um, they'll receive a $1,000 bonus. So they're always paid toward that top tier. Whether members are happy with the acceptance or not, the majority rules. And come Monday, it will be back to work as usual. In Kohler, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. And we're told by union workers that the contract terms go into effect in January.